Hi, and welcome to the second video on titrations as part of our acid-base chemistry unit in our AP and IBHL1 chemistry course at Allen High School. We are going to be calculating our second point that I've chosen for along our titration curve. And we had already discovered, or in our last video, that our equivalence point was 20 milliliters. Now, if you can recognize that, you'll see by the end that performing this last calculation will be much simpler. I'm gonna start out by showing you that Doc Saves Everyone works for every point on that titration curve. Now, this one does have a dilution. I'm only going to do this once in the next points. I'm just gonna show you the work and assume you know how to do dilution. So I wanna do my molarity of my acid. Back at the beginning, you saw we started with 40 milliliters of acid. It's a 0.1 molar solution. Since I'm adding 10 mLs of base as this part of my titration, I have 50 milliliters of base. So I have a new molarity of acid. And that new molarity of acid is 0.0800 molar. I'm going to do the same thing for my base. I started with 10 mLs of base, it's 0.2 molar, it's the same final 50 milliliters, then I get my molarity of base, and my molarity of base is 0.0400. You notice right away that my base is half as much as my acid. That's how I know that I'm halfway towards completing my titration. Now, each step feeds into the other, so my dilution is going to feed into my stoichiometry. I have 0 0.0800, 0 0.0400, and I don't have any source of my conjugate. Now, any acid plus any base is a stoich stoichiometry till my limiting runs out. I'm just going to drop those zeros till the end, and then I'll pick back up on my... Um, correct sig figs. I'm going to gain that much, and what's lovely about titration curves and acid base in general is you notice that's a 1 over 1 mole ratio. So we're going to assume that 1 over 1 mole ratio from now on. I'm going to lose 0 0.04. Again, implied in here is the 1 over 1 mole ratio. So I have 0 0.04 molar. Now, that is going to feed into my initial. Okay, so the after or the end of a stoichiometry feeds into my initial of my equilibrium. So I've got 0 0.04 and no source of my H+. Plus. Now, I don't know how much I'm going to lose. I'm going to call it A. I like to put it A for acids. So this is going to be 0.04 minus A, but we're going to say that's approximately equal to 0.04 because A is going to be so small. This is 0.04 plus A, but we're going to, again, neglect that A and say it's approximately 0.04, and then this is A. Now, if you have the Ka expression already in your notes, I'm not going to write that again. As long as you've written it once, you'll be okay. So I have my propanoate, which is 0.04 molar. I have my H3O plus, which is A, over my propanoic acid. Now, I want you to notice that, I want to get a better color here to contrast. I want you to see, whoops, that didn't work. Okay, I want you to see that that 0.04 crosses out because we're at the half equivalence point. So Ka is equal to A, which is equal to my H3O plus. All right, so let's take a look. When I did that, I came up with a funky cursor there. Sorry about that. All right, that's critical. You should know 
that Ka is equal to H3O plus or pKa minus the log of the Ka is equal to the pH. Okay, so if I plug that in, I have minus the log. My Ka was 1.3 times 10 to the minus fifth. And you should um, know that's four point something. It's actually 4.896 is my pH. Now, we did a lot of work. And all you have to do on your test, if you recognize this is the half equivalence point, is state since we are at the half equivalence point. Now, many more words that I'm putting here but you get the concept. Say all the words that I'm saying right now. Since we're at the half equivalence point, pKa is equal to pH. And if you'd made that statement that I summarized with a bullet here and then did this math right in here, that's all you needed for this question. So you can either use Doc Saves Everyone or you can use that shortcut Make the quick statement, get your answer by taking a quick log, and you're done with that point. Okay, we've got just a few more points to go. I'm going to do them each in uh, individual or maybe a couple of videos, but for now, we'll stop at this one. This is signing off.